Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm trying out a beauty blender for the first time. So if you want to see my experience and hear my final thoughts on the beauty blender, then keep watching. Like I said in the intro, today I am trying out a beauty blender for the first time. The only thing I have done so far is take the sticker off of here. I got this in my FabFitFun forever ago, so and I've never used it, so here we are. So this is what it looks like if you've never seen a beauty blender before, which I'm sure most of you have. So this is the sponge, and then it comes with this little paper here that just says how to use it. Okay, so you wet it, squeeze it until damp, towel dry it, bounce, cleanse, dry. All right never heard anyone say that you had to towel dry so this sponge is from emx design i bought this off of amazon and people say it's very similar to the beauty blender and all i have to say is the shape is the same mine is still a little damp and i don't know why it's been drying all day or since yesterday and that's it they're pretty much the same shape texture wise this one is very bouncy and like fluffy this one's very stiff so this should be interesting I have a bowl of water right here in front of me. I'm just going to dip the sponge in and squeeze it out. Jeez, it does absorb a lot of water <laughs> off the bat. I will say that. And there's something like floating. Must be. I've heard, is there like a dye or something that comes out in this? Because there's something floating around in here. And it was not there five seconds ago. So this is how much it has grown. So I'm just going to take the towel that I have here and just like squeeze it. It's not dirty. It's just stained. So this is how much it has grown. Significant amount. It does get a lot bigger. For my foundation today, I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint. So I'm just going to put this all over my face like I normally would. Nothing different. And now we are going to blend out. So, so far, I feel like it's absorbed a lot of product. Definitely. I can tell right away. Um, it just feels so stiff against the face. Like, it doesn't feel nice. Like, I kind of just feel like I'm hitting myself. With my Emax sponge, it's just, like, so bouncy. I don't know. And, like, if I... Because, like, if I hold it here by the tip, like, it's not comfortable... Like it's more comfortable for me to hold it this way but this way it feels like it's like hurt not hurting but it's very uncomfortable and like i said it did absorb a lot of product this foundation's really lightweight already to begin with and it has like a very very light coverage because it is like a bb cream but i just feel like this did absorb a lot of product so i'm going to add another layer of my foundation which i normally would do anyway but normally i just do it in areas where i feel like i need some more but on today i feel like my whole face needs more especially my nose like it didn't get covered at all and i did put some there i don't put a lot on my nose but I don't know. Oh, I didn't even blend my neck. I always forget my neck. Does anyone else forget their neck? Let's just get my neck really quick. Okay, my neck is good. <laughs> so. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of this. I do like the shape because you can really get into your eye area. But I mean, that's really about it so far. I'm going to go finish up the rest of my face and I will be right back to give you my final thoughts on the Beauty Blender. I have finished up the rest of my makeup and now we're going to talk about the Beauty Blender. Here are my final thoughts. This is not worth $20. I did not like it at all. The one thing I did like is the point. It's really easy to get in like the eye area and all those like little spots that you really, it, that are like the hard to get spots. That's the only thing I like about it. I think that this is not fluffy enough. I felt like I was just like stabbing myself. Like even now, it's just like, it's not comfortable. It, feel, it hurts. It's not a pleasant feeling. I don't like that. 
it absorbs a lot of the product and i also feel like it didn't melt my highlight into my skin like i like my highlight to look i just would not recommend this i don't see the hype behind it if you're looking for a good sponge emacs designs they are the way to go they're perfect mine's not wet but it's like the same shape as a beauty blender they're $7.98 at, on Amazon. You get a pack of three. And this is $20. No, I would not recommend this. There's so many better drugstore affordable dupes out there. Real Techniques has a great one. Eco Tools. Um, those are the only ones I've tried. Oh, L'Oreal. L'Oreal has a really good one as well. Go get those or the Emacs ones. I'll have all those links down below if you want to check any out. Beauty Blender, however zero out of ten would not recommend i absolutely hated it and that is it for today's video let me know in the comments down below what do you think of beauty blenders i would like to know because i know a ton of people love them so i want to know your thoughts you guys know my thoughts let me let's let's have a little discussion in the comments down below if you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that red button down below to subscribe to my channel for more videos if follow me on all my social media that's always linked down below in the description box as well if you guys have any video suggestions on any videos you want to see next let me know in the comments down below or if you just want to leave a comment saying hey please do that too and that is all i have to say so i'll see you guys in the next video bye